Out here at Good Guys Indy 2015, I'm with my buddy Ricky Bobby, and he's got a 34 Mercury pickup truck. Kinda. We'll get him run down and find out uh, the whole story on it. But you know it's gonna be cool, so let me find Ricky and uh, we'll talk to him about it. Ricky, how are you, brother? Good, how about you, Scotty? Outstanding. Tell me a little bit about this hot run. I got a 1934 Mercury pickup today. Did Mercury ever make pickup trucks? Uh, yes, they did in uh, Canada. They uh, produced a couple of them, I think, from the 50s to the late 60s. Um, this truck was not really a Mercury truck, but I kind of thought about the theme a little bit and just kind of ran with it. I found a Mercury motor and a couple little pieces. It just happened to be Mercury, and I liked them, so right. I said, well, heck, I'll just make the whole truck Mercury. Right. Now it turned out nice. I had somebody ask me about this the other day. You going to get with Ricky and shoot that Mercury pickup truck? <laughs> if I can run them down. How much of it's custom? I don't even know what these things are. And usually when I look at your cars, we can see. Um, but this one kind of looks almost stock. It's got well, a great stance and stuff. The hood we made from scratch. Um, the the truck has been, it's been cut. And uh, the cab is setting down in the frame. The frame's originally like seven, seven inches tall. Right. We cut the frame down three and a half inches, so it's still got a three and a half inch tall frame under the cab. Instead of channeling it, it still has all the floorboard, all the headroom. The truck's chopped to about three, three and a half inches. Uh, we, we made a new bed for it, shortened it up, made a roll pan for it, added a little bead line to it. Uh, I've changed on the pockets here. I deleted the pockets, uh, changed a little bit on the pockets, and these are actually hood. Um, holders that's holding the mercury tailgate on the tailgate's been narrowed about I think about four inches and been shortened height wise about uh, three inches like I said we made the little row pan put the tag mount in it and if you look down at the tail tail light like that's that. an old Ford tail light what is that a fireman in there or something it, it, that's a mercury man and oh, it's, actually mercury a, man. it's actually a horn button from a 49 50 51 mercury and uh, kind of integrated that horn button into the to the oh, tail light. Very cool, and then it lights up red. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Yep. And then you put center exhaust on it. Yeah. yeah. It's got to have two two pipes coming out the but, back. You know the thing is, I know we're it's a little piece here. We're talking about this tailgate, but for after you chopped it, cut it, did all that stuff, at the end of the day, it still looks like a factory piece. Yeah, we tried to make it look pretty factory. And what if it had that mercury emblem in the middle of it like that, or is that something you did? Uh, it actually had that mercury emblem in the middle, and 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 that is a Canadian tailgate. Okay. I went back and I, I made the header panel. If you look at the back of the the uh, bed there, right. or the front of the bed. Right. I made this panel here. I just kind of seen a picture of this, and while I was waiting on this to come from Canada, I uh, went ahead and just drawed that up and made it. And if you uh, get to the side here and look at the bed, I actually bent the header panel so it would fit up a little tighter on the truck. Oh, yeah. And then made this, um, you know, just made some side skirts on it to make it look more complete looking. Now, the, 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 I don't know, they're bead rolls, but the, the design you have on the side of it, is that something you added or is that? No, they're, they're, that's a that's factory bead been? line. Yeah. The bed has been shortened tremendously. Yeah. How much? Uh, think about, this truck's been on for a couple of months. Because it all looks exactly so in proportion. Remember. Yeah, you know I'm trying to make the wheel fit the, the, the wheel well pretty good. Uh, okay. I think it's shortened about 10 inches, I believe. Okay. What about these scoops on the side? Is well, that, that, that kind of, when you look at it, you assume that it's got a Hemi or something big in it. When you <laughs> pop the hood, you know? Yeah. It's not one of those things you want it to sound like it's 800 horse, but it may only be 150. <laughs> so you're faking people out there? Yeah, it's, it's got a little 49 it's Mercury. got a little muscle hump on it, and yeah, there's just yeah, no yeah. muscle there? Yeah. It's got a 49 Mercury uh, uh, flathead in it. It's got a three-speed overdrive. Uh, we can split the gears. You can first gear, first gear overdrive, second, you know, on all the way up to third. So what kind of tranny is that? that it's a it? it's a 49 Mercury transmission. No kidding. Mm -hmm. How'd you find that? Uh, I looked up and found the motor and transmission, and that's kind of what got me started on the whole Mercury truck. It was going to be a, just a little shock beater, and then before you know it, it evolved into a pretty nice little truck. So you got yourself into that whole thing where you just started a, a simple truck and it turned into yeah. a lot more. Well, it's all basically all either Ford, Mercury, or Lincoln. The whole truck is. There's maybe four parts on the whole truck. It's bought. No kidding. Uh, I think the shocks was bought, maybe a spring perch, brake lines uh, that goes to the wheel. And other than that, it's all Ford, Mercury, or Lincoln. Are those steel wheels that are on there? Um, th these are uh, uh, Mercury 
like 40 mercury wheels on the front on the back i had center to uh center or not center it was a circle racing made the rear wheels for me right. they're 18 they're aluminum i just wanted that bigger wheel and, right, and right. yeah i did have to buy those oh very cool but they these are still like on the front right. but those are just yeah because you never know because no, you can no. see you look at the two no. two wheels you can't tell the difference from aluminum yeah. one to a steel one well you had seats in this one the last one you took me for a ride in we were sitting on the floor but yeah this one's a little better it's it doesn't have all the carpet in it we left the tunnel exposed I don't know why we just kind of did on this one right just kind of look old and but that's got a suede headliner in it, though. Yeah. That's nice. Yep. Oh, it's nice. Is this leather? Uh, it's that fake leather. Yeah. It's vinyl. Right on. That's cool. You say this thing's for sale. Yeah. Yeah. What are you asking for? Um, it'd probably be around 50. Yeah. 50, yeah. 55, something like yeah, that. Yeah. You got to get the Scotty D commission in there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that case, it might have to be 55 for sure. <laughs> Does that front window still open? Yeah, it's still yeah, open. Dude, that yeah. is cool. This is the overdrive button. You just click it out and it goes into overdrive. Oh, so you're in first gear, then you click it out. That yeah. puts you into overdrive. Yeah, first. second and second overdrive. And this is your dome light. Push it, dome light comes on. Um, then you. Um, What's that this lever is, for? Uh, that's just uh, the Calvin opens. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. But um, this also uh, is used as a parking brake, too. Really? Right before you turn it off, you turn on the overdrive, and, it, and the truck won't, will not roll. It's that's pretty neat. That's the way it was back in the day? Yeah. Holy God. And them gauges, what are they out of? Uh, they're they're uh, 40 standards. This dash is a 40 standard. Uh, I wanted to put Mercury, but Mercury didn't really have anything that was really cool back then and this year. So I, I like the 40 dash and the 40 wheel, so I just kind of went with it. And I put all the Mercury knobs and everything on everything. Right. But. And what are these uh, copper tubes or whatever running through here? Uh, those are, some of them's fuel lines, or not fuel lines. Those are all brake lines. Brake lines, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Now, what is that, like Linex or something? Yeah, it's got like rhino liner or something in it. Got some miles on it. How long has it been done? Uh, we got it done in September. The first show it went to was in September. It's been done for a couple months and been uh, used as a daily driver for those months what afterwards. That? It's a 49 Mercury. It's all bone stock. Uh, like I said, it's got three speed overdrive in it. It's just got a good set of heads and intake on it, and this thing just likes to go fast. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Everything you build, you build to drive. Oh, yeah. None of your stuff is Trailer Queens. Oh, no. Not yet. We're still trying to find that Trailer Queen client for you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> A Mercury pickup truck, whoever guessed, right? I didn't even know they made them. So when Ricky showed up with it, I thought it was one of his creations. And it kind of is, but, you know, anytime I get a chance to uh, shoot one of his his uh, hot rods, I always do, because they turn out beautiful. I mean, look at the stance on that thing, right? The big tires in the back, the little ones in the front, like tire, tractor tires in the front, and that roll pan, you know, it's kind of like a modern hot rod. The dimensions of the bed, everything fits perfect there. He just always rocks them. Very simple, simple stuff, you know, but uh, cool. And that just proves you don't have to be, you don't have to go crazy to, to make cool, you know. Awesome, though. Ricky, another beautiful job, brother. Appreciate it, Scotty. If somebody wants to get in touch with you, how? what's the best way? You got a website, Facebook, um, what's going on? Just call on me on my cell phone. It's 931-247-0673. Uh, Folks, there you go. I told you he was crazy. Uh, he knows what he just did, too. You know, he gave his cell phone out to the world. But, hey, that's the way he is. Don't bother him unless you're serious and uh, are interested in, in, you know, coming to a shop, having a hot rod built or whatever. I just ask you to do that. But otherwise, what a cool dude to stand right here in front of the world and say, hey, look, if you want something, give me a call. Hope you all have enjoyed it. You said it's a what, a 40? What is it? The motor? No, the car. Oh, it's a uh, 34 Mercury. 34 Mercury pickup truck. Good guys. Indy 2015. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya.